All right, so here's an example. Write a linear equation given this information about the line. You do not need to graph this. Okay, what you need to do is realize, are either one of these a y-intercept? And the answer to that, 1, negative 2, 3, negative 6, is, uh-uh, they're not. Okay, we don't know the y-intercept just looking at this. So in this situation, you guys, you'd want to use points low form. If you do not have the y-intercept, if you've got any old points, not the y-intercept, you're going to want to use points low form. What you've got to find, since the form is y minus y1 is m times x minus x1, you've got to find the slope. Okay? So the slope, if you've seen my other videos, you've already seen this a couple times, is the difference of the y-coordinates divided by the difference of the x-coordinates. So essentially, your first point, you could call it x1, y1, your second one, x2, y2, and you put the biscuits in the baskets and you find the slope. So let's try that. So in this particular problem, y2 would be negative 6, minus y1 is negative 2, over top of 3, minus 1. This double negative makes this a positive. So it looks like I've got negative 4 divided by 2, which is better known as negative 2. That's the slope of this line. It's going down as it goes over, down 2 over 1. With that information, I can simply take one of these two points. I always take the easier one, which would be this one, and plug in its x value for x1 and its y value for y1. This is my point of choice. This is my slope. And I get my equation, just like that. So y minus y1 would be y minus negative 2, which in fact is y plus 2 equals the slope, which I predetermined as negative 2, times x minus 1. Okay? Now I would like to see that simplified. So distribute the negative 2 through there. And we have, uh, I should have more space here, y plus 2 equals negative 2x plus 2. And we do this and we get y equals negative 2x. Okay? So, if I got just points given to me, point slope form is a great form to plug into. You have to figure out the slope, insert an xy for one of the points, and you get an equation. Okay, now, if you notice letter B, it says it passes through this point, and it has a slope of this. Again, you've got to ask yourself, is this a y-intercept? And no, it's not. 2, negative 4 resides down there in quadrant number 4. It's not on the y-axis. So I can't go y equals mx plus b because this is not a y-intercept. I've got to realize this is a point. This is the slope, point slope form. Okay? So it's simply y minus y1 would be y minus negative 4 would be y plus 4 equals the slope. They gave it to me. Negative 1 half times x minus 2. Okay? From there I could simplify that down. See if I can do this here for you. Y plus 4 equals negative 1 half X. That would be a positive 1. Take away 4 from both sides. And we should get Y equals negative 1 half X minus 3. Okay? So there we go.